Hello, uh, Steady on here, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a sort of typewriter effect on your uh, GUI or on anything really. You can print it, you could put it on a, a surface GUI, you could put it on a normal GUI, you could have it set in a. Actually, no, you couldn't. I was going to say you could have it set in a dialog, but you couldn't have it set in a dialog, but you could um, basically do. It's basically just going to create the text one letter at a time, so you can put it anywhere you want, right? So this is the sort of thing that it's going to look like. Um, Bear in mind, when you're doing this, you should usually want to um, make this text not scaled, because when the text is scaled, it means that it goes, it's sort of, um, it's big when it starts, and then it, and then it gets smaller when it's uh, as it's scaled on. So if you want like an actual sort of typewriter effect, obviously if there was a typewriter, it wouldn't uh, scale the text to the page. So if you if you want to do something like that, then uh, just don't have the text scaled, but instead, if you know the rough size of what is going to be on your GUI, or if if it's if if you might have different things on your GUI, then make sure they're similar length so that you can choose a, a font size that will fit all of them. So say I don't know 32, and then when I do it this time, it won't change size for the GUI. See? Okay, so this is a really very simple uh, concept, but it's it took me a while to figure out. I don't know really why, but it did, right? And it might take you a while to figure out as well. So, um, I was going to show you the local script, but I may as well just actually just make it from scratch, okay? So, um, I won't remake the GUI, but I'll remake the script. Okay, so here we have the screen GUI, just in the normal starter GUI. Then we've got a frame and the text label. None of this really matters, because you'll probably already have this if you're, if you're wondering how to do this, right? Um, and then, you're going to want to get a script. It doesn't matter if it's a local script or a normal script. Where is local script? I'm on, on local script because I usually use local scripts in GUIs. You may as well, um, as you can get like the player and everything like that. And then you're going to define a variable, and I'm going to call mine text, right? And this is going to be um, the st string that we're going to use for this. Don't define it as string because you're actually going to use string later on, and string is an actual thing that's used in Roblox, right? So if you define it as string, then you're going to mess up your code, right? So anything apart from string, you can define this as. So I don't know. I'll put um, uh, this variable is called uh, text. Um, I don't know. This is a tutorial from oops, Steady on Roblox. Right now, um, now we're just going to use a normal for statement. These are pretty simple, so if you, you should probably know this. If you don't, it's literally just a loop that repeats the number of times you tell it to. So what this does is it says the number of letters in text, you don't actually have to do string len, len or anything like that. So just this just says for 1, for i equals 1, so i starts at 1 and then it goes up to the number of letters in text, right? So every uh, for every letter in text this will loop, yeah? And then you're going to want to go script parent hello text, so that's the uh, text here I've got in this frame, so script parent hello. Right, um, and then the text, and then you're going to go string sub, and then basically what string sub does is it will return the part of, a part of the string between two points. Right, so the first the first argument is this is going to be text because that's a string, and then we're going to put one because that's always going to be the start of the string because we're going to want to show. Uh, from the start to the end, right? Because otherwise it's kind of stupid, right? And then we're going to put I, and that's basically the whole script, right? Let's try this out. Oh wait, oh, hold on. Yep, I forgot something. Very simple. Um, and then you're going to want to put wait here. So that means every time it goes through, it will wait. And wait, if you don't know what it is, it's very short amount of time. It's it it depends on the place's lag and everything like that. But here it's 0 0.03 seconds, and you'll see how short it is when I play it. So each time each letter is, is is showing, it's running that loop, and that's a wait in between. So if you wanted it to go a lot slower, which I, I wouldn't really recommend because it looks kind of weird if you do this, you could put 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 or something like that, you know? So I'll try 0 0.05. It won't look as nice, though, because it's not as smooth. Um, it's, well, it is as smooth, it's just... If you're doing something like a dialogue or something, you really want to do it as fast as possible because this is an effect, and you want people to be able to, re able to bleh, sorry, you want people to be able to read it, right? So this is a bit too slow, but on the wait, 
on just the normal weight, um, that's easy to read. I can read that as it's coming onto my screen. Um, so that's how you do it for a GUI. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess I may as well show how you'd print it or something like that. So literally exactly the same thing. Instead of script parent hello text, you put print and then that. That's literally all you do. Um, and then it would just print it here instead. Actually, looks pretty cool. Anyway, right. Yeah, that's basically the whole tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. I've been steady on. Bye. Hey, uh, you can also read the article on my website, which is uh, which will be in the description. Um, and this explains basically everything I've already said in this tutorial. So if you didn't understand anything here, you can easily get it from this um, website. And it also has the uh, model link. So you can have a look at the stuff I used in this video if you want to.